Hi everyone. My name is V Swami Dinesh and I am from VTech second year CSC from VVAT college. Now today I'm going to discuss about the topic virtual reality and augmented reality. Now let us dive into the topics that we're going to discuss today. Topics we're going to discuss are about virtual reality and its history and it's about its evolution and the software and hardware components required for virtual reality and the applications of virtual reality and also about the augmented reality and to, to learn things about augmented reality and the technologies which are used in augmented reality and augmented reality applications and we're gonna see the differences and what's the exact difference between virtual reality and augmented reality what is virtual reality virtual reality is a simulated experience that employs post tracking and 3d near object displays to give the user an immersive feel of the virtual world. VR applications immerse the user in a computer generated environment which stimulates reality through the use of interactive devices which send and receive information and are worn as goggles, headsets, gloves or bodysuits. That means by using VR, the user will be completely in a different virtual world. Now let's the, let us see about the history of the VR. The term VR has meaning of being something in essence or effect, though not actually or in fact. The term virtual has been used in computer sense of not physically existing, but made to appear by software. The term virtual reality was first used in science fiction context, the Judas Mandala in 1882 novel by Damien Broderick. The development of perspective in Renaissance Europe part and the stereotype invented by Sir Charles Wheatstone were both Recursions to virtual reality. The first references to the more modern concept of virtual reality came from the science fiction. Otton Heimberg built a prototype of his vision dubbed the Sensorama in 1962, along with five short films to be displayed in it while engaging with multiple, multiple senses. Prior to digital computing, the Sensorama was a mechanical device. Healing was also what he referred to as. Telesphere mask. The patent application describes the device as a telescopic television apparatus for individual use. The spectator is given a complete sensation of reality, i.e., moving three dimensional images which may occur in color with 100% peripheral vision, neural sound, scents, and air breezes. Here we can see the picture of the sensorama built by Morton Haley. The VR has evolution, uh, evolved along with the time. The virtual reality industry mainly provided VR devices for medical flight simulation, automobile, industry design, and military training purposes from 1970 to 1990. The 1990s first saw widespread commercial releases of consumer headsets. In 1992, for instance, computer gaming world predicted affordable VR by 1994. That means common public can also make use of the VR at an affordable price. The 2000s were a period of relative public and investment. In 2010, Palmer Loki designed the first prototype of Oculus Rift. This prototype, built on a shell of another virtual reality headset, was only capable of rotating rotational tracking, indifference to commercially available VR technologies. In 2013, Valve discovered and freely shared the breakthrough of raw persistence displays which make a lag free and smear free display of VR contents possible. And later in early 2014s, Valve showed off their Steam, Steam set portative, prototype, the precursor to both consumer headsets in, released in 2016. In 2014, Sony announced its project Morpheus, it's the code name for the PlayStation VR, a virtual reality headset for PlayStation 4 video game console. Here we can see a man wearing the Project Morpheus headset worn at Gamescom 2015. By 2016, there was at least two thirty companies developing VR related products such as Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Sony. All had their dedicated teams and groups regarding AR and VR developments. Since 2017, major strides in the integration of virtual reality and cognitive behavioral therapy have been made, focusing on how to tailor the experience to suit each individual patient. 
In 2021, EASC approved the first virtual reality-based flight simulation training device. With the COVID-19 restrictions in 2020, VR is experiencing an enormous rise. According to the Grandview research, the global VR market will grow up to $62.1 billion in 2027. And so far, we have discussed about the history and evolution of VR. Now we're going to see what software are used for developing the VR. The virtual reality modeling language first introduced in 1994 was intended for development of virtual worlds without dependency on headsets. The Web 3D Constructorium was subsequently founded in 1997 for the development of standards for webbing 3D graphics. The Consortium subsequently developed X3D from the VRML framework as an archival open source standard for web-based distribution of VR content. WebVR is an experimental JavaScript application programming interface API that provides support for various virtual devices such as HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, Google Cardboard, OSVR, and in web browser. And now we're going to see the hardware required for the VR. What displays are based on the technology developed for smartphones, including gyroscopes and motion sensors for tracking head, body, and hand positions. Small HD screens for stereotypic displays and small, lightweight, and faster computer processors. To be creative, special output devices are needed to display virtual worlds. Well known formats include head mounted displays or the cave. In order to convey a spatial impression, two images are generated and displayed from different perspectives. In order to improve the feeling of immersion, wearable multi string cables offer haptics to the geometrical complex geometries in virtual reality. The strings offer line of each finger joint to stimulate the haptics involved in touching these virtual geometries. That means the user who is using these VR gadgets can really feel that virtual world. Special input devices are required for interaction with virtual world. Some of the most common input devices are motion controllers and optical tracking sensors. In some cases, wide globes are used. Controllers typically use the optical tracking systems for location, navigation, so that the user can move freely without wiring. Virtual reality cameras can be made can be used to create VR photography using 3-degree grid panorama videos. 3-degree grid camera shots can be mixed with virtual environments to merge reality and fiction through special effects. VR cameras are available in various formats with the varying numbers of lenses installed in the camera. That means to create a virtual reality world, we need to first capture some scenes and scenarios and environment with the 360 degree cameras so that we can develop virtual reality world later with the help of it. Here we can see how the 360 degrees panorama photo will be. And here we are able to see a girl using the VR gadgets to see into the virtual reality. And now we're going to discuss about the applications of the VR. VR has so many wide range applications and I have mentioned some of it. Virtual reality is commonly used in entertainment applications such as video games, 3D cinema, amusement park rides, including dark rides and social virtual worlds. Since 2015, roller coasters and theme parks have incorporated virtual reality to match visual effects with haptic feedback. VR not only fits the trend of the digital industry but also enhances the film's visual effect. The film gives the audience more ways to interact through VR technology. Social sciences and psychology, virtual reality offers a cost effective tool to study, repl replicate interactions in a controlled environment. Virtual reality programs are being used in rehabilitation processes with elderly individuals that have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. In medicines, simulated VR surgical environments first, were first developed in 1990s under the supervision of experts. VR can provide effective and repeatable training at low cost, allowing trainees to recognize and amend errors as they occur. And also, in the fast fashion globalized business world meetings in VR are used to create an environment in which interactions with other people can feel more natural than a phone call or a video chat. In the customizable meeting rooms, all the parties can join using the VR headset and interact as if they are in the same physical room. It has been used and studied in primary education, anatomy, teaching, military, astronaut training, flight simulators, minor training, medical education, geographical education, architectural design, 
driver uh, training and bridge inspection. Immersive VR engineering systems enable engineers to see virtual prototypes to the availability of the physical prototypes. Supplementing training with virtual training environments has been claimed to offer avenues of realism in military healthcare and training with while minimizing cost. VR has proved many useful for both engineering educators and the students. So far, we have discussed about the virtual reality. Now, let us discuss about the augmented reality. Augmented reality is an interactive experience that combines the real world and computer generated content. AR can be defined as a system that incorporates three basic features a combination of real and virtual worlds, real type interactions, and accurate 3D registration of virtual and real objects. Augmented reality is largely synonymous with mixed reality. There is an overlap in tech terminology with extended reality and computer mediated reality. Like here, we can see the best examples of the augmented reality. Like we can see here the interface of the Pokemon Go game where one user is pointed to a real world environment and he is able to see a virtual environment called Pokemon. And here in the right picture, uh, when the person is placing a tablet or a phone, he can see some furniture which is not present there in re for real, but it's a virtual image created by augmented reality. Let's know more about the augmented reality. Boeing Computer Services features employee Thomas Cordell coined the term augmented reality in 1990 to describe how the head mounted displays and electricians use when assembling the complicated wiring harness work. One of the first commercial applications of augmented reality technology was the yellow first down marker that began appearing in television fo televised football games sometime in 1998. Today, Google Glass, smartphone games, and the heads up the displays in car windshields are the most well known consumer air products. But the technology is also used in many industries, including healthcare, public safety, gas, oil, tourism, marketing, etc. Primary value of augmented reality is the manner in which the components of the digital world blend in, into a person's perception of the real world, not as a simple display of data, but through the integration of immersive sensations which are perceived as natural parts of the environment. Commercial augmented reality experiences were first introduced in the entertainment and gaming business. Subsequently, augmented reality applications have spanned commercial industries such as education, communications, medicines, and entertainment. In education, content may be accessed by scanning or viewing an image with a mobile device or by using markerless AR techniques. Like as we can notice some QR codes and barcodes in some textbooks, when we scan them with our phones, some interfaces will be opened with the in the browser, which will demonstrate the subject in a more detailed manner using some videos and some augmented reality concepts. Augmented reality is used to enhance natural environments or situations and offer perceptually enriched experiences. With the help of advanced AR technologies, the information about the surrounding real world of the user becomes interactive and digitally manipulated. The information about the environment and its objects is overlaid on the real world. This information can be virtual. Augmented reality is an exp any experience which is artificial and, and which adds to the already existing already existing reality. Hardware components for augmented reality are a processor sensors, display, and input devices. The modern mobile computing uh, devices like smartphones and tablet computers contain these elements, which often include a camera or microelectromechanical systems, MEMS sensors, such as an accelerator, GPS, solid-state compass, making them suitable AR platforms. There are two technologies in augmented reality. They are diffractive waveguides and reflective waveguides. So we're going to discuss about the displays regarding the AR technologies. Various technologies are used in augmented reality rendering, including optical projection systems, monitors, handheld devices, and display systems, which are worn on the human body. A head mounted display, HMD, is a display device worn on the forehead, such as harness or helmet mounted. HMD displays images of both the physical world and the virtual objects over the user's field of view. Modern HMDs often employ sensors for six degrees of freedom monitoring the terror 
a system to align virtual information to the physical world and adjust accordingly with the user's head movements. Like when the user is wearing HMD, he can see the real world and also the virtually created objects by the augmented reality at a time. Like he can see the mix of them and gain more information at the same time. And now we're going to see about the another AR technology, HUD. It's HUD means head up display. A head up display is a transparent display that presents data without requiring user to look away from their visual view. Like the user can view as if they are normally seeing. And in that way only he can gain more knowledge. Through the AR components. A precursor technology to a augmented reality heads up displays were first developed in for pilots in 1950s. Projecting simple flight data into their line of sight, thereby enabling them to keep their heads up and not look down at their instruments. Near eye augmented reality devices can be used as portable head up devices as they show data, information, and images while the users use in the real world. And the major AR technology, the major technology which is responsible for AR development is the handheld devices. A handheld display employs a small display that fits in the user's hand. All handheld AR solutions to date opt for video see through. Initially, handheld AR employed fiducial markets and later GPS units and the MEMS sensors such as digital, digital composition and six degrees of freedom accelerometer gyroscope. Today, simultaneous lo localization and mapping, SLAM, markerless tracking such as PTAM are starting to come into use. Handheld display AR promises to be the first commercial success for AR technologies. Two main advantages of handheld devices are the portable nature of the handheld devices and the ubiquitous nature of the camera phones. Disadvantages are the physical constraints of the user having to hold the handheld devices in front of them all the time, as well as the distorting effect of classically wide-angle mobile phone cameras when compared to the real world as through the eye. Games such as Pokemon Go and Ingress utilize the image-linked map ILM interface, where approved geotagged locations appear on the stylized map for the user to interact with. Like in Pokemon Go, when we point it to a real-world real world area, it will create a it's a similar kind of map with its own elements, and we can see some new elements which are not present in the real world. Some more technology, air technologies are the eye tap. It captures the rays of light that would otherwise pass through the center of the lens of the wearer side and substitutes synthetic computer control light for each ray of real light. Projection mapping arguments, real world objects, and scenes with a Without the use of special displays such as monitors, head mounted displays, or handheld devices, projection may be mapping makes the use of digital projectors to display graphical information onto physical objects. Modern mobile augmented reality systems use one or more of the following motion tracking technologies like digital camera, optical sensors, accelerometers, GPS, and gyroscopes, solid state compasses, radio frequency identification like RFID. These technologies offer varying levels of occupancy and precision. The precision and accuracy changes with, along with the technology. Other technologies are mobile augmented reality applications. And due to these mobile augmented reality applications, the AR technology has gained more popularity because of the wide adaptation of mobile and especially variable devices. Speech recognition systems that translate a user's spoken words into computer instructions and gesture the recognition systems that interpret a user's body movements by visual detection or from sensor embedded in a peripheral device such as wand, stylus, pointer, glove, and other body wear. The implementation of augmented reality is a consumer product, requires the design of the applications uh, and the related constraints of the technology platform. Since AR rely heavily on the immersion of the user and the interaction between the user and the system, design can facilitate the adaptation of the virtuality. Now, let's see about the AR applications. AR has various applications in various industries like archaeology. AR has been used to aid archaeological research by augmenting archaeological features onto the modern landscape. Like by using AR, the archaeologists can know how the structures and sculptures were present here in the past. 
and they are as a wide application in architecture also by using ar one can visualize the building projects and plan accordingly and uh, education in education field also ar has plays a significant role in educational settings ar has been used to complement the standard curriculum textbook flashcards and other educational meeting reading material may contain embedded markers or triggers that and scanned by ar device produces supplementary information to be to the student rendered in a multi format as i said earlier we might find the triggers such as qr codes uh, barcodes and some links etc when we scan them or use them we will be redirect to the some web browser window so that we can learn the subject in more interactive way through the, some videos and some other multimedia etc and ar has its applications in industrial manufacturing commerce literature visual art fitness human computer interactions remote collaborations etc and also in emergency management and search and rescue social interaction industrial design healthcare planning practice and education visualization of big data sets in augmented reality spatial immersion and interaction flight training military etc one of the major applications of ar applications is we embraced ar technology a lot a number of games were developed for pre prepared indoor environments such as air hockey tanos or titans of space collaborative combat against virtual enemies and ar enhanced pool table games augmented reality allowed the video game players to experience digital game yantic released the augmented reality mobile game pokemon go like in pokemon go we can know where we are going as we compare the in game map with the real map of the our world same time we can experience the gaming experience through the uh, virtual elements created by the ar so far we have discussed about the virtual reality and how it works and how it is doing and what is augmented reality and what are its applications and how it works now let us discuss about vr and ar in a comparative way okay vr creates an immersive virtual environment while ar augments a real world scene vr is 75% virtual while ar is only 25% virtual vr requires a headset device while ar does not vr uses move in a completely fictional world while by ar users are in contact with the real world like when a user wears a vr headset or any vr gadget he he will be completely in a different world like as we know when we go to a shopping mall or a multiplexes we can see some gaming zones where we can game some vr based games like some racing games or some adventurous games or some shooting games simulators etc etc like when we wear that we will be completely in that game world we have lost the connection with the real world but ar is not like that we will be having the connection between we the real world and the virtual world and both will be working simultaneously ar uses the real world setting while the vr is completely virtual this is what i am saying the ar is based on the real world also but vr is not like that it is completely virtual it is completely computer based the ar users can control their presence in the real world vr users are controlled by the system vr requires a headset device but ar can be accessed with a smartphone AR enhances both the virtual and real world, while VR enhances only the fictional reality. In augmented reality, the user's perception of reality is completely based on virtual information. In augmented reality, the user is provided with an additional computer-generated information within the data collected from the real life and enhances their perception of reality. Like by using AR, we can get the places more informative. For example, like I have gone to an unknown place and i don't know about the places so when i take my phone and point it to a certain area certain building or certain area it will show that information about that area and its description and this can be done through ar like we can achieve more information it will we will make it more easier by using ar augmented reality differs from the virtual reality in a sense that ar is a part of surrounding environment is real and ar is just adding layers of virtual objects to the real environment on the other hand vr surrounding environment is completely virtual and computer generated 
and we can uh, here see a famous example in architecture here can be used to create a walk through simulation of inside of the new building and air can be used and systems superimposed on a real life view like by using the vr we can see how the building be when it's from inside when it's once fully constructed like we can feel like we have entered the newly constructed building and see how it's interiors etc etc by using vr but by using vr we cannot all experience all this you can just experience how the building structure is and it is useful for more engineers like in planning the building construction etc this is the main difference between vr and ar so far discussed about the virtual reality and uh, the things about virtual reality and about its applications and technologies and also we have discussed about the augmented reality and the information about it and its technologies and its applications and what is the exact difference between virtual reality and augmented reality thus my several topic is fulfilled thank you for giving me this opportunity